Breaking news, my country people. It's happening. The battle to stop Tinibu swearing in gets tough as INEC makes dangerous move against P2B's partition. Let's find out more as we hit the news. But if you're joining us for the first time, you're very much welcome. I sincerely appreciate your presence. Kindly subscribe and please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Labour Party and its presidential candidate, P2B, filed a case with the Presidential Election Partition Court asking for relief. And the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, has claimed that relief cannot be given. The partition by OB and the Labour Party was also deemed to be broad and non-specific, according to INEC. And also, the partition has asked for a number of things, including the annulment of the result of the presidential election held on February 25th. According to them, Tinibu was not legitimately elected by the majority of the votes cast during the election. Peter B and the Labour Party, who said that 11 states had been rigged, stated that INEC had broken its own rules by declaring the result before all of the polling units' results have been properly scanned, uploaded, and communicated electronically as required by the Electoral Act. Bola Tinibu and Kasim Shatima, INEC, and the All Progressive Congress are listed as respondents in the petition. But in the response, INEC said that given the hazy and the ambiguous um, environment defending the petition's basis, that the petition's grounds were invalid and the Labour Party failure to allege specific details and figures regarding how the alleged non-compliance which they claim subsequently affected the result of the elections permit uh, prevented them from disclosing a reasonable course of action according to INEC. so in relation to their claim of the non-compliance with the electoral act 2022 and the corrupt practices it contended that the petitioners that is the labor party's uh, justification which rests on their assertion that Tinibu was not elected by the majority of valid vote casts is flawed since they did not ask for the petitioners to get credit for any valid votes that should have been subtracted for allegedly illegal votes. INEC also claimed that um, the Labour Party's and P2B's requests for the tribunal to rule out, uh, to rule that uh, OB received the majority of the valid vote cast in the election, and to be declared the winner of the of the election was equally flawed, due to the uh, petitions petitioners' failure to join necessary parties and for the lack of requisite particulars pleading to support same. INEC has argued that uh, the tribunal could not have determined the election's winner without receiving at least two thirds of the of all valid votes cast or one quarter of all votes cast in at least two thirds of all the states in the Federation and the FCT. It was mentioned that the law required all political parties planning to support candidates in the election to submit a list of their agents and those agents were required to watch the election process at their voting locations to sign and also to collect result sheets on behalf of their political parties after the polls closed and a few of the political parties agents whose names were on the list provided to INEC were however were not present at the polling units while some others who who were choosed you know did not take part in the voting process well the petitioners p2b and the labor party only presented a list of uh, 134,874 polling agents which is about 41,972 uh, agents short of the 1760 uh 706 and 846 voting units nationally 
So INEC and further said that the petitioners, P2B and the Labour Party, did not have agents in all the polling units throughout the nation. They also said that uh, many or some voting places nationwide did not have uh, uh, the Labour Party's uh, representation. So contrary to what the petitioners, that is the Labour Party and P2B ascension, I never contended that Pito, um, that uh, Ballard, Bertinibo, and Shetima were properly proclaimed and uh, return elected. And also, they were awarded certificate of return after meeting the standards outlined in the constitution to be declared the winners. It further stated that uh, Shetima had been officially nominated and supported to run for vice president. Meanwhile, they have stated that uh, Peter B's and the Labour Party's appeal, you know, was uh, appeal was requested to be dismissed by the court, you know, by INEC. So, my country people, this is really happening. I'm sure at this very point in time, INEC is really struggling, and the uh, dif the different agri political parties are still struggling because at this point in time, they have taken their case to court. The APC are fighting the both um, aggrieved political parties, that is the PDP and the Labour Party. INEC, in turn, is still fighting the Labour Party and the PDP. But at the end of the day, Nigerians are waiting to hear the final judgment of the court. So, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this? I'm dropping here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Bye for now.